Well, hello there. When was the last time you cleaned your motorcycle gear? Properly washed it. Is the answer never? Because for a lot of people it is. And it's disgusting. I can smell your gear and your stinky helmet where it meets. There's a lot of good information out there about what kind of gear you should get, what's best for this budget, what's best for this type of riding. But what there's not a lot of is how to clean this stuff. And it's a bit confusing. It can be intimidating. You can't just pop this stuff in the wash, but you do need to clean it. And fortunately for you all, because I can't help myself, I got everything here absolutely disgusting. So I get to show you on the top level on how to clean it when it's absolutely just the worst scenario. But what I'm going to show you also just works for in general gear. Your sweaty, stinky old helmet, it's five years old, she thinks wore out. So I'm going to show you the Jake method on how I get this stuff back at all freshed up, nice looking, everything except the boots. I clean these with a power washer though as soon as I get home from an off-road trip. If I have to power wash the motorcycle, I just power wash these. Just pretend I'm making a video of me power washing these. Everyone pretend. Good. Just use a wide spray pattern. If you have a decent quality built boot, it'll be just fine to power wash them. The only other thing I need to mention here real quick, what I'm gonna show you I wouldn't do to a full leather jacket. I'll do this method if there's like a, some leather paneling in places, like these pants have a big leather panel on it. But full leather, you probably could do this method. I don't know. I only have a few full leather things and I normally just wear them if it's cold out or if I'm at the racetrack, which is actually pretty bad because my full race suit's really filthy right now. Maybe you could make a video on how to clean that if you have a suggestion. The first thing to do, we need to go to the bathroom. Hey. Okay, so here we are in the bathroom and you see I'm wearing a helmet with the thing here. This may look like I'm just being really lazy, but um, I need a bathtub and I don't have one in my master bathroom. I opted to have just a big walk-in shower. I have to do this in the guest bathroom and just trying to move a tripod around in here would have been silly. Plus I need to do a lot of things with my hands and you need to have a point of view. And there's a good chance water will splash up onto this GoPro. So this is actually, this is not being lazy. First thing to do is to make sure your wife isn't around. <laughs> but we're gonna take our helmet apart here. Scorpion comes apart very easily. These pads, I swear they just collapse with sweat and stuff over time. So washing them will really liven them back up. My microphones and my Cena head unit, all this stuff is Velcroed in so it comes out pretty easy. You sit over there for now. So we don't need like the hottest water in the world, just like lukewarm. Try to get the, the dirt off like this. So simply run your hands around it, any mud and dirt that might've got on these things. I like to take these cheek pads and give them kind of a squeeze like this. Wash some of that mud down the sink here and try to start with a decently clean surface. And I actually like this baby detergent here. We're just gonna put like a little bit. I mean, this stuff's pretty concentrated. Yeah, it should be plenty. I just kind of soak this into your gear like this. But the baby detergent, one, I think it's just less harsh on the actual materials that here themselves. There's no reason to use something that's you know, really aggressive. And two, because this is gonna be right up by your face, um, you don't want something that's real harsh. This actually has a nice, pleasant smell. Okay, that's plenty of water right there. We're just gonna let that sit. If they're trying to float up a whole bunch, just weigh, weigh them down with something. I don't really use anything like glass cleaners when I clean my visor. I usually just kind of get it wet. If it's got mud like this, it's good to get the mud, you know, try to work it off with your finger. I'm not worried about fingerprints or like water spots right now. I'm just trying to get it like clean. I'm going to let it fully dry. Then I'll go back over it with a microfiber. Peak is pretty simple. It's just a piece of plastic. <laughs> you don't have to be delicate with this guy. Right. The helmet's got a lot of little dirt spots on it, right? So we're just going to go around it. I find a, a, one of these dish cloths like this just because it's a bit abrasive. Really good for getting like the mud and junk off of these helmets. By the way, you notice mine has some fuzz in here. That's just some of my like stuff to help microphones. Now here comes the bits that are gonna make people a little nervous, I can tell. Get this again, get out lukewarm there. Let's start rinsing this guy off. Now here's the thing. These helmets, they have to be submerged. It's part of the testing. I, I used to sell helmets and uh, you know, for rock, if anyone remembers that back in the day. Your helmet, they know moisture and stuff's gonna run through it. Now I'm not saying you should do this like every day or anything, but it shouldn't hurt your helmet to do this from time to time if you need to, if it got real filthy. I got that vent open. Inside the helmet, I'll actually be able to see water pouring through there. It's kind of cool to actively see how these vents work in the helmet. This will be good just for the sweat in general and everything else. Rinse that out. If this were to be bad for my helmet, you know, well, then this helmet isn't a good helmet. You know what I'm saying? Like, do your thing, dry. Let's get working on this. Get one of these rags. That's pretty good at help getting it off. All right. Oh, man, look at that. <laughs> oh, my God. Woo, we were having fun that day. So I like to do those, go through here and unzip every zipper I can unzip, whether it's a vent or whatever it is, you know, just get these all back and open. There we go. 
I'm going to try to get this shower curtain kind of like that. Oh, man, look at all that. Here's one of the gloves. Look, I mean, that's just from the glove. Look how much stuff is coming down there. I'm going to be in so much trouble. I guess you could call this hand washing. I assume dry cleaning means I don't get it wet. I have no idea what dry cleaning means. Does anybody actually know? I thought by the time I was an adult, I'd understand what that meant, but they're cleaning it and drying it. Is that what it means? I really don't know. I'm not a proper adult. What can I tell you? This has just got like impacted mud into it. Really good core work out here because <laughs> I'm holding this. It's getting quite heavy as I'm doing this. This technique would also work if you uh, crapped your pants. I was knee high in uh, mud, so I know it's at least to the inside, like up to there. Doesn't have to get perfect right now. We're just trying to get some of the big chunkles off. All impacted into the into the old fibers of the, the material there. It's all right, we'll get it out. I push some of that down there so we're not just marinating in it. So I like to just do some of this now. Bring these pieces back down. I mean, look at that, that's gonna... There we go, this is how Jake hand washes his stuff, okay? This is the main magic secret right here, right? Pretty cool, huh? <laughs> if you think, if you were thinking there was gonna like be some cool, easy method I was showing you, some trick, it's really not. It's just, it's, it's literally like what you'd think hand washing is. Oh, that's why I put a towel down there. I'm splashing over there. Just look how brown this water is turning from this. Let's stop this. So what we're gonna be doing now is basically cycles of what I just did. Normally we let it soak for a minute, but I can see it's so dirty already. Might as well go ahead and at least do a quick rinse off session. Let's go back to the shower here for a minute. This is how I kind of re-rinse it. It already looks a whole lot better. If it's just sweaty gear, I usually can do this process twice. Usually I let it sit a few minutes between the, the rinsing there, but normally it just needs a few of these because this was getting so nasty. I'm gonna do this a little bit different. Oh yeah, look at that. The soap really needs to sit for a few minutes in it to kind of loosen up dirt. Let that marinate. Look, these actually don't look bad. See how the water doesn't look real murky? I mean, it's literally the same process what we're doing with these. So I'm gonna give these a real good rinse and these are gonna be good. They just need to dry out. These are gonna be the ones that hold the most soap and water in it. You wanna pump them so that they're just water that's left in there. You don't want any soap left. I mean, there's gonna be a bit of a smell, but it's a pleasant smell. It's a nice baby smell. Look at that baby. I would actually wring them. I kind of squeeze them a little bit. Just be careful of like the plastic bits. You don't wanna like fold that and crease it. You wanna put these somewhere to dry. It's been sitting for a few minutes now. Hopefully the some of the dirt in there is loosened. Water's not so bad. Note, note its color now, and then note it in a second after I do some more of this. Now, if it's ever really bad, like if you just have like a really impacted spot here, you can take the rag like this, you can scrub it there, okay? And that works really good. I haven't found any spots. Like it's actually all lifting really well so far. Look, my, I'm a giant, I'm the, I'm, the, I'm, the, I'm the agitator in the washing machine now. Look at me go. Oh yeah, look at that water now. Look at that. Wait, was I always not wearing my wedding ring? Gave everything a pretty decent rinse. Bring some of that dirt down so we're not marinating it again. And this time, no soap. <laughs> Rinsing it again. I hope this is gonna be the last one. I think it is, it's looking good. Been a few minutes, let this have a good nice soak here. Water looks pretty clear, but let's give it a good old agitation and let's see what happens. I think we're good. Okay, got it. Because we don't have a spin cycle, I've gone and prepared something here. In you go. Oh yeah, this is all cleaned up real nice. It's looking, the colors are looking good. By the way, I did have to separate those two. They did get a little moisture down in there. Tomorrow, I believe it's gonna be actually in the 70s of all things. I'll transfer those out there, but just in the meantime, so I don't want them sitting out there tonight where it's actually still a little cool tonight. Not my favorite thing to just get a bunch of water in the garage, but a garage, if you have a normal garage, it is sloped that way. We'll let that drain down. The rest of the stuff is doing its thing and we'll come back later.
Okay, it's been a day since we did all that. Everything's set outside and got a good drying session going today. What I need to do is I need to put the pin lock back together. I've got just a little water right here, a couple of microfiber cloths. I have just a tiny bit of water in these. We'll kind of work this on here. Let's go back with a dry part and kind of clean this up. I don't bother normally wearing gloves, but because I'm gonna be putting the pin lock on, I really wanna make sure the inside part is very well clean. Always hold your lens up to some light and you can really see all, all the swirl marks and all the other crap in it. If you hadn't seen it, we recently did a video where I was trying to test methods of making summer gear work in the winter. And that's when we installed this. We do have a part two of that coming up here soon where I actually have heated gear. I've already installed the wiring on the motorcycle. I've actually already tried to go and well test it. The problem is it's been in like the 60s and 70s out. <laughs> So my pads have dried, got a nice baby smell to them. <laughs> It really makes it feel like a new helmet on the inside by doing that. Backpack looks good, completely dry. Look at these pants were so impacted. Looks like this is the worst part of them was down here. It looks pretty good. The only things really left on there are really like some scratches into the pants. I don't think that's dirt anymore left on it. All in all, I'd say these look pretty good. The jacket feels good. The gloves don't feel weird or stretched out or anything. I mean, considering how dirty this gear was, the fact that we got it clean just using a very light detergent and a little bit of just hand washing, it's a bit physically involved, but it's not that big a deal. All in all, considering that's all we did to it, that's pretty good. And it's nice and gentle on the gear, which I mean, it's tough stuff. I mean, you know, it's not like it's gonna hurt it, but with all the different materials and things going on, I just wouldn't wanna toss this in the washing machine. That's all looking good. One final thing I will show you has to do with the zippers. Sometimes these zippers get a little stiff, especially I noticed after washing them, it's like they're kind of dry or something. Easiest way to fix it is with some WD-40. Didn't think I was gonna work that one in there, did you? But what you wanna do is put a little on a rag like this. It only takes a tiny little mount. Just simply rub it on the zipper. Run the zippers up and down a few times. And you can hear the difference. There it goes. It's, it's really, it's like nothing amount. Oh yeah. Baby detergent WD-40, people. I never thought I'd be making a video on how to clean gear, but it was requested by you all, so here it is. I am a man of the people. Ask me what you want me to do, and that's not really true. I'm not always gonna do what you want. Speaking of other things you guys have asked for, and I, I haven't forgotten it, is that you guys asked me to do a video on basic tools you would need if you wanted to start working on your motorcycle. So I'll be working on that here soon, along with a bunch of other stuff. But now that, now that I've done this video, I don't expect to see all it meets with stinky old gear, Tell me how you've had the same helmet for six years and you've never washed it. That's disgusting. Go clean your helmet. You know how now. Thank you and good night.